Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you guys 6 dry sabzi options that you can cook for your husband's lunchbox. Also all these veggies or sabzis are kids friendly too, so you do not have to cook separate for your kids. I only adjust the spice level to suit my kids and they happily eat all of these veggies. So in this video I'll be sharing total 6 sabzis like dry palak, alu gobi, paneer bhurji, Bindi aloo, methi aloo and matar masala. If I could pick only two sabzis for you to try first, that will be dry palak and paneer bhurji as they are so delicious that I can lick my fingers off. Also these sabzis are best served with either rotis or parathas. More details and full recipes in the description box below including the paratha recipes. So let's begin with the first recipe which is dry palak or spinach. Spinach has a lot of water content in it so make sure to wash and dry the spinach so that it loses extra water from washing it. To make dry palak first I'll take a kadhai and add 2 tablespoons of oil to it. Next I will add 1 tablespoon ginger garlic and chilli paste. Stir this for around 30 seconds then add finely chopped spinach or palak. Today I have 2 bunches of palak here. Stir it for few minutes then add 2 grated or pureed tomatoes. For each bunch of palak I recommend take 1 medium tomato. Next I am going to add all dry masalas like turmeric, coriander, cumin powder, red chilli and salt. Now cook palak on medium flame till all water is evaporated. Try not to cook on high flame to evaporate the water fast. Though you can do that but I usually prefer to cook first 10 minutes on high flame. Then once I have added tomatoes then on medium flame and I start making rotis in meantime. Also do not cover with lid as otherwise spinach will retain water and you do not want that. Also try and cut spinach with your spatula in between cooking time so that it's nicely mashed. Cook till oil separates. It will take a total of 25 to 30 minutes to completely cook this sabzi but it tastes delicious. If you complain of your child not eating greens, try this way of making spinach. My kids only eat spinach when I have cooked it either this way or palak paneer. Now coming to the second recipe which is alu gobi. To make alu gobi I will take a non-stick kadhai or handi and add 2 tablespoons oil to it. Once oil is hot add alu and gobi to it. I usually do not stir it for 2 minutes immediately after I have added veggie to kadhai and later I do not use a spatula rather I will lift with handles and flip around. This helps gobi flowers to stay intact and not break. Also cook on high flame throughout as gobi or cauliflower has a lot of water content and it will soak if you cook on low or medium flame. You want to caramelize it so make sure to cook on high flame. Once potato is soft add all dry masalas like turmeric, coriander, cumin, red chilli and salt. Now keep this veggie aside as we will be making the gravy. To make the gravy take a kadhai, add 1 tablespoon oil to it, add 1 inch grated ginger, 1 small tomato and fresh cut coriander. Cauliflower is gassy and adding ginger alleviates gas and relieves flatulence. So always add ginger when you cook cauliflower. Now cover this and cook till tomato is soft and oil separates. Now add garam masala and gravy is ready. Now add this gravy to the alu gobi and mix it properly and let it simmer for another 4 to 5 minutes and yummy alu gobi is ready. Mm -hmm. 
my kids always eat alu gobi without any gravy or masalas they love to eat caramelized florets with some salt sprinkle on the top in fact half of the veggie is consumed by them like this and other half we eat with roti so give this recipe a try Third recipe for today is paneer bhuji. This is my personal favorite. Every time I make it, no matter how much quantity I make, it's always less. For my kids and husband, it's a treat and they love to eat paneer bhuji with parathas. So to make paneer bhuji, I've taken a kadhai, added 2 tablespoons oil, added cumin seeds and hing to it and added 1 big tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Stir it for a few minutes and then add 1 big chopped onion. If you have small onions, take two. Cook till onion is translucent, then add two big puree tomatoes. Now add all dry masalas like turmeric, coriander, cumin powder, red chilli powder, salt and garam masala and cook it on medium flame for around 4-5 to five minutes. Now add 1 tablespoon kasuri methi. This is the magic ingredients. Kasuri methi provides such rich flavor and smell to paneer bhuji that even your neighbors would be wondering what's for dinner tonight. Once oil separates, add chopped fresh coriander then add around 300 grams of grated or mashed paneer. Cover it and cook on low flame for around 4-5 to five minutes, stirring occasionally in between and your yummy paneer bhuji is ready. Please note no water is added in this bhuji as if you add water it dilutes the taste so no water added. Serve it with plain parathas. I will share paratha recipes in the description box below so don't forget to check it out. Next recipe is bhindi alu for which I will take a kadhai and add 2 tablespoons of oil. Once oil is hot, I will add cumin seeds and also hing or asafoetida. And then I will add only bhindi at this stage and cook it for around 10 minutes just on its own. One trick to make a normal kadhai or pan nonstick is to add some oil in it and heat the oil on high flame till it's almost smoky. This way your veggie will never stick to the bottom of your pan or kadhai and you've just made a nonstick pan at home. Once bhindi is half cooked and all the sliminess is gone, add finely cut potatoes. As if potatoes are thick, they will not cook in time with bhindi. Cook on medium flame now so that potatoes get soft. Also adding salt at this stage fastens the cooking process of potatoes but you can add it later as well just like I did. Once potatoes are soft, add all masalas, turmeric, coriander, cumin, red chilli, salt. Cook for another few minutes and your bhindi is ready. There are few different versions of bhindi that I make like lasuni bhindi, bareli bhindi, bhindi kadi, masala bhindi but this is the very basic version of a bhindi sabzi. Coming to the second last sabzi for today is methi aloo. I love methi whether it's cooked in a pan or in a pressure cooker. In pan you can cook dry version while in cooker with gravy but they both turn out delicious. So to make methi aloo again take a kadhai add 2 tablespoon of oil in it. Once oil is hot add 3 cloves of chopped garlic and then add cut potatoes. I have around 3 bunch of methi today so I will be adding 3 potatoes and 3 tomatoes. So 1 potato and 1 tomato for each bunch of methi. Methi or fenugreek only tastes good if you add tomatoes to it as it's a little bitter in taste but it's super food and you should include it in your family's diet at least once a week. I at least cook methi and palak once every week. Initially my kids did not enjoy them but remember the 3 times rule. Feed your kids anything you want them to eat at least three times for them to start accepting the food and the flavor of that food. Then feed another three times for them to start eating and last three times for them to start loving it. So even if they just taste it, it's worth the effort as soon they will develop taste for it. 
coming back to my sabzi once potatoes are cooked for few minutes and a little brown and caramelized add methi leaves and stir once methi releases water and settles down add dry masalas turmeric coriander cumin red chili and salt and cook for few minutes so that spices are well cooked now add three pureed tomatoes and mix it well now all you have to do is simmer your gas and wait for potatoes to soften methi and tomatoes have enough water to help potatoes soften and after about 10 minutes your sabzi is ready you can clean in between waiting times or make roti so that entire dinner is prepped at the same time Final veggie or sabzi for today is masala matar. To make this sabzi, I have pre-boiled one big cup green peas or matar in a pressure cooker for one whistle. Do not overboil, otherwise your peas will be mashed when you make the sabzi. Now take a kadai, add two tablespoon oil to it, and once oil is very hot, add green paste to it and cook for few minutes. Then add dry masalas like turmeric, coriander, cumin, and salt and stir till spices are well cooked. Now take it out in a bowl and keep aside. In same kadhai, add 1 tablespoon oil and add 1 medium grated or pureed tomato. Also add fresh green garlic to it and let it cook till oil separates. Now add green peas and stir well and your masala green peas are ready. Fresh garlic adds a lot of flavor to this veggie so do give it a try. So guys, these were all dry sabzi options for your husband's lunchbox which are kid-friendly options too. If you like this video and want me to make another version where I only use the pressure cooker to make sabzis, then you have to like this video. I'm aiming for at least 1000 likes so please make sure to like and I shall do another 6 sabzi ideas using pressure cooker only. Also comment section is disabled on my channel and underneath this video too. So go to my channel's community page and let me know in comments which sabzi did you like the most and we'll try for sure. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.